love runs. The love of Jesus is relentless. And our mission is to make sure everybody knows this. Real love waits. And it also runs. Go back to Luke. I'm going to highlight one more verse. I think it's verse 20. This is really interesting. It's better than any Hollywood movie. When he was still a long way off, remember, real love runs. So he's been running from God. Doesn't change the fact he's been running right behind you. When he was still a long way off, the father saw him and his heart was pounding. That's my favorite part. When he was a long way off. What is that? What is that? You know, in, something was happening. He was already looking. That's God. Long way off. It's not like, oh, I'm shocked you're here. No, I was waiting, preparing, <laughs> believing. Long way off. He saw him, his heart was pounding. He ran out, he embraced him, and he kissed him. This is my baby. The son started his speech. Father, this is it. But the father wasn't listening. Bring out the best. Bring out the state. Bring out the DJ. We're having a party. How many people come into church and they're so busy, jibber-jabbering about all the stuff they've done wrong? Little do they know the moment you face this cross is love pours out on you, running after you. I love this. You know my favorite part of the scripture, which I missed in the last service, I'm so bummed. As I was reading this today, I realized he didn't do one good thing before the party started. Not one. So his father saw him, and he said, come on in. Party started. He didn't really formally apologize. He didn't even clean himself up. He didn't explain where he had been. He didn't lay out the roadmap to how he thought he might be wrong or he might not be wrong. He go to this big explanation. All he did was show up. The dad said, come on. You know this is still good money. Hello, this is still good today in New York City. All you got to do is get in his presence. And this love is so good that it will transform you from the inside out. You'll stop doing stuff because you have to. And you realize, wait. I'm already accepted. His love is good when I'm bad, so I'm going to be good. He's already pleased with me, so now I get to do things because he's pleased. I don't go to church because I need the blessing of God. I go to church because I already have it. His favor is on it. Performance-based Christianity is a lot. There's only one performance that matters. It's what he did on the cross, and now you get to realize that God is running after you. You tell me this. Do the people in your world know that we have a God that runs after the lost? Do they know that our God is relentless in his pursuit no matter where you've been, what you've done? Do you know, Christian, that God is still running after you? You might have left some areas dormant in your life. There's a lot of people who feel like I'm in a mess right now. God's left me. You know that God doesn't leave you in your mess, husband, wife. If you're in a problem in your marriage today, please believe if it's at its worst, God is at his best. If you have fallen over, oh, it's some horrible addiction. I've talked to so many people who are like, God's ashamed of me right now. Are you kidding me? Real love doesn't leave when everybody else does. Real love is there in the gutter. And as I close, believe me, this is going to be all we talk about in our church for a long time. The wrath of God. You know what happened to the wrath of God? It landed squarely on the chest of Jesus. And he took it on your behalf. Carrie, my little son, home from dinner last night. He said, Dad, my stomach hurts. And I was like, all right, buddy, we're going to be all right. It's all good, just, just whatever. And all of a sudden, I saw a friend talking to him. He's like, dude, is your son okay? I'm like, yeah, why? His face is green. And he gave him an invitation to project how love. All over the, the floor, everything on the sidewalk. And you know what I did? I wasn't like, ah! Oh! Just got on my knees with my little guy, rubbed his back, and I'm like, it's all good, buddy. I was kind of bummed because of something on my new shoe. But I'm like, it's all good. Go ahead, puke it out. It's all good. It's like, bro, man, puke. Where you go, buddy? You're looking at people, I'm like, got a problem? It's my son. Bring him over for more if you got a problem. You want to help or not move on? It's my son. I'm not going to abandon him in the middle of his mess. Do you know that New York City, metaphorically, is the little guy growing up at its worst? And they've been told for too long that our God, clean yourself up, pick yourself up, get all this right. Really? When our God is the one who heals you when you are sick. He picks you up when you have fallen. He frees you of the debt that you are owed. And my heart is that our city will start to hear the sound of heaven, which is that God loves them so much in the middle of their sin, He still died for them. In the middle of the mess, our God is still there. The search for real love can
did it in here. Can we take this message to the street and run with the news of our God? Because it is good news. It is freedom news. It is real love news. And our city will fall to its knees with the message of this gospel of love. If you believe me, if you're with me, somebody say yes. Say amen. Can you stand your feet tonight? We're going to pray quickly for those that have never known this real love. And then I'm going to pray that a, a fresh revelation of God's love frees some of you in our church of a condemnation that's too heavy to bear. With every head bowed, every eye closed.